Hey guys, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and Mickey's Antique Amusements on Facebook. And I'm in McAllen, Texas, Texas, auctioning off over 75 vintage jukeboxes from an old jukebox operator who closed his doors. And we are just surrounded by jukeboxes. They're everywhere. All right. So the deal is, is all these machines have been sitting a very long time. So we're unplugging the amps. And we are not powering these up and testing them. These are project machines. You're buying them as is, where they're at. So they're considered non-working. If you buy more than one, you can get two-for-one shipping on these. It usually costs between $350 to $425 to ship one of these anywhere in the United States. We ship North American Van Lines, STI, Precision, Naval. I've shipped over 800 jukeboxes, so rest assured it'll get to your location. We use a blanket wrap service. And they'll bring it right to your home, bring it right into your living room, and unwrap it for you. It's all insured shipping for physical damage. So if you're interested in one of these jukeboxes, before I put it on eBay, give me a call. Again, my name's Mickey. My number is 585-747-0605. Or you can check me out on the internet. Go to my website, check out my restorations, coinopny.com, or go to Facebook, Mickey's Antique Amusements. All right, now on to the show. The next jukebox is a 1931 Seberg Audiophone Model F, and this is an eight-selection jukebox from 1931, and this one's sort of hard to find, this jukebox, so we're going to take a look at it. The thing I like about it is the marquee and the unique way that it selects the records. So we're going to walk around, take a look, see what's there, what's not there, and uh, we'll have a peek. So let's go ahead and move forward here. We're going to look at the marquee, and that is lit up, the marquee. Uh, although it's pretty light in here, you can't see it. So, But probably one of the nice things is the inlay, the diamond inlay, which is right here, and it's along the sides right here which I really really like and then this metal plate here it's a gold plate JP JP Seberg Corporation and it's really really nice all right let's look at the front of this machine it's got a dial to make your selections and I will say this the button this button right here appears to be damaged it looks like at one time I had an arrow on it right here so it's a little bit chewed up and stuff like that. It's got a coin slide right there, as you can see. And then it's got a little, little title strip holder right here that's uh, for your eight title strips. Remember, this, this was from 1931. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look inside here. This has eight. And you, as you can see, some of these are lower than the other ones. It's, it's really an ingenious looking um, way that they design this and and then it's got the tone on which is I think original right there and we're going to go around the back way so all these spin these are all free which is a good sign these are all spinning which is nice it's got the gears underneath right here as you can see right down in here okay and let's move back and look at the front grill here there is a front door and we'll open it up, but I wanted you to see the grill here. The cloth is original. It's sort of got like a leaves on it and it's more of a gold flake. And maybe in the video it appears to be in rough shape, but it actually is not in rough shape. It's actually in nice shape and I think it'll show that in the picture. This has the Chicago Webster amplifier. Speaker's got uh, tears in it. Um, it has a coin mech, and then it's got a long chute that comes down, hits a micro switch, and then deposits it, deposits into the coin box. And uh, we have the coin box on the floor behind the machine because there's some extra parts and schematics that came with this. So there you go. So let's take walk around here and take a look at the cabinet. We're going to walk around to the side here. And as you can see, this cabinet is really, really nice shape. This one, I don't know what kind of veneer they use, but it's beautiful. Okay, here's the back door. It's got a nice back door. And here's what I was talking about, the extra parts. You've got original schematics, and, and 
manual and schematics in this cellophane bag. And then there's a copy of them here. There's extra parts and bolts and screws. It looks like an extra motor. Don't know if it goes with it. Some extra parts in the coin box and some tubes. So you get a lot with this. All right, let's take a look at this side. Get a little focus. Again, the cabinet's in, in very, very nice shape. Right over there, yeah. There's a couple scratches over there. And there's one right here. There's one long scratch. But again, I love this inlay here. All right, so now the fun part. Let's look inside here. This is some sort of mechanism right here. Okay, and then there's your tone arm again. We're going to go back around the front in a second. We'll get a look at the tone arm. There's the mechanism again. And let's get down in the lower compartment here. Here is the amplifier I was talking about right here. Right here. It's a Webster power amplifier. And let's see here. The rest of it's that's it. There's some wiring down over here, as you can see. Underneath, there's a, some sort of power canister right back. You can sort of see it. It's right there. There it is. And then it gets wired right down into here. There's some connections. I unplugged the amplifier. The two connections. Remember, we're not we're not firing that in. There's a volume control up over here, and some sort of button right there. That's it. That's the jukebox. Let's go back around front here. We're going to lift that tone arm up. And I guess we're not. But that's the tone arm that came with it. So, all right, that's going to do it. There's a walk around. All right, this is Mickey from CoinOpNewYork.com and Mickey's Antique Amusements on Facebook. If you're interested in one of these jukeboxes, give me a call. These will all ship from McAllen, Texas. So be aware of that. If you're in Southern Texas and you want to buy one of these and drive on down and pick it up, that would be great. Also, thanks for watching. Have a great day.